I'm Kevin Coleman. I'm with the Skid Steer Loader Product Group, and I'm here to talk to you today about a new exciting feature we're introducing with our D-Series compact track loaders, multi-terrain loaders, and skid steer loaders. It's our new advanced display. This advanced display is unlike anything we've seen in the industry. It's a five inch LCD monitor which provides security capability along with customization unlike anything else provided today in the market. Up to 50 individual operator codes can be entered into this display which provides security. But along with that capability comes the ability to customize the performance parameters, background colors, gauge layout styles to suit the operator's needs for the application or his experience level. Not only that, it also supports a rear view camera. But let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look at the new advanced display, its features, its functions, and how to navigate this display. As we turn the key switch to the on position, you notice we have a welcome screen here with cat dealer and a phone number. We'll note that that's a configurable item in the display that we can change, and we'll show you how to do that as we navigate through the display. Since the security system has been enabled, we'll need to enter a code. In this case, we're going to enter the master code, which has been set up to be four ones. Then we depress the enter button. It recognizes us as the master, which will enable some extra functionality that is not available if you enter only an operator's code. Once logged in, you'll see the main display screen. On the main display screen, there's a lot of information for the operator to use. You've got the fuel gauge, engine coolant temperature, hydraulic temperature, and RPMs. Also displayed are the hours and the system voltage. Other heads up items that are displayed include your creep setting. And to note in the upper left corner, the snail for the creeper setting, as well as the parameters that are able to be changed using the buttons in the center of the screen. When creep is turned to the off position, those disappear from the display. Depressing the button below the camera allows the backup camera to be visible at all times. Otherwise, the backup camera becomes visible when the joystick is moved to the reverse direction. When the joystick is moved to a forward or neutral position, the screen will return to the main display. Let's take a closer look at what's behind this icon, which is our operator settings icon. Operator settings allow you to configure many of the parameters on this machine that you might want to adjust. For example, high stat response, implement response, creeper control setting, ride control activation speed. New for this display is a speed limit. This allows you to limit the top speed of the machine between 100% and some other parameter. Auto backup camera. This is a feature that allows you to have the backup camera automatically visible in the display when you move the control to the reverse direction. If you do not wish to have this, then you can toggle between these two features to turn that off. Units, you can toggle between English and metric. And then six languages. Also configurable on this display are the digital readout. That means on the main display, if you want to have actual values or numbers displayed, you can have those displayed as we do now or you can toggle that so they are just uh, the gauges with no display. Gauge layout, four different configurations of gauge layout. We can view these each by just depressing the back button twice. Current gauge layout as such. And then the last gauge layout has the moon. This is a low glare nighttime display that can be utilized for indoor work, low glare work, or perhaps even snow plowing or, or nighttime work. Also configurable are the background colors, gray, black, blue gray, or yellow. And the last parameters are the dealer name and dealer phone number. 
This could be configurable for anyone. Could be the cat dealer, a customer, anyone. You could put your name or your phone number into these blanks here and have them appear on the welcome screen as we showed you earlier. Other features provided by this advanced display are job clock, which allows you to track the time and the fuel used on each job. You can start, stop, or reset. Also provided are service intervals. You can look at the number of service intervals that are provided here, engine oil change for example. We have 451 hours remaining before we reach our 500 hour oil change interval. Events or alarms. Should there be any diagnostics or events recorded for the machine, you can view them here as well. Service. You can look at some of the parameters. This could be helpful if you have an issue with your machine and you need to help diagnose it with your dealer service technician. You can provide him some basic information that may allow you to troubleshoot the machine on the spot. Information, provide some information about the display itself, some of the software. Lastly, we come to user management. User management is a feature that is only to be able to be utilized when you are logged in as the master. Now the master code can be utilized by an owner, could be utilized by an equipment manager, whatever the case may be. It enables functionality that is not available when you enter in just a regular operator code. So as we are logged in as the master, we can come in and we can view all the employees we have currently entered into the system. As the equipment manager, I recently hired a new employee and I would like to add him to our list of users. I will do so by selecting the icon with the plus sign. Let's enter our new employee, Jim, into our user screen. Let's also assign a code to Jim that will be unique to him. It can be four to six digits. In this case, we've selected four sevens. As you are logged in under the master code, you can also utilize this feature to track fuel usage and machine hour accumulation for each operator. Let's take a look at Adam. You can see Adam's name, his user code, the machine hours he has accrued while he was logged into this machine, the fuel usage he has accrued while he was logged into the machine, and then any events or diagnostics that may have occurred while he was logged in as the operator. In this particular case, he has no hours and no fuel usage. If we wanted to reset these parameters, we could do so by depressing the button in the bottom right corner. So you can see the user management can be a very powerful tool as a fleet manager or as an owner when you are utilizing it to manage your operators and to also monitor their usage. This parameter is only utilized when you are logged in with the master operator code. With the security system feature enabled, when the key switch is turned to the off position, the operator will have a choice. He can either enable the security system within 30 seconds of selecting the check mark, or he can suspend that functionality for 15 minutes by selecting the X. After the 15 minute window has passed, the security system will lock the machine and will require a code in order to start again. So as you can see, not only is the new optional advanced display easy to use, it also positions CAT skid steer, multi-terrain, and compact track loaders as leaders in operator controllability, comfort, security, as well as visibility. We hope you'll visit a D-Series machine soon so you can experience it for yourself. Remember, this machine is ready to work when you are.